My name is Daryl Richardson, and I want to welcome you to Behind the Stars, the untold stories of Black industry dancers. From Broadway, television, film, video, and commercials, Black dancers have always been in the running to get a gig. Let's have a sneak peek at these Black industry dancers. Mamie Duncan Gibbs grew up in the inner city of Springfield, Massachusetts, where she began taking acrobatic classes at the Dunbar Community Center under the direction of legendary jazz instructor, Frank Hatchett. After graduating from the High School of Commerce, she spent one year at the Boston Conservatory of Music and the following year moved to New York to pursue her goal of dancing on Broadway. And that's exactly what she did. She performed in the national tour of Sweet Charity, Liza at Radio City Music Hall, Jelly's Last Jam, Cats, Kiss Me Kate, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, The Boys from Syracuse, Radio City Music Hall's Christmas Show, Easter Extravaganza, Dangerous Games, Two Tango Pieces, Sophisticated Ladies in Atlantic City, and the original revival of Chicago and the Broadway production and the Las Vegas Company of Chicago. After performing for over 20 years on Broadway, Mamie knew it was time to give back. She spent 10 years as the Executive Artistic Director of Youth Theatre Interactions Incorporated, YTI, an after-school performing arts program in Yonkers, New York. She provided professional instruction in the performing arts to Westchester County youth from the ages of 6 to 19 years old. Her goal was to expose them to excellent training, ensuring that the high quality of instruction they received would carry them into the professional world of the arts if they chose to do so. She also created Teen Night and Broadway Comes to Yonkers. Her next mission was establishing Get Fit with Miss Mamie. While attempting to get her mother to exercise, she proceeded to attain several certifications. Recently, Mamie was invited to teach at Manhattan School of Music in New York City, where she is a professor of movement in their vocal arts department. In February 2023, Mamie received a proclamation from the Westchester County Board of Legislators recognizing her accomplishments, contributions, and service to the community. In addition to a rewarding career, Mamie has been blessed to be married for 37 years to her wonderful husband, Marvin, and they have two incredible children, Paula and Joseph, and a precious granddaughter, Olivia Rose. Brava, Mamie. So one story I want to share with you, it was an amazing experience. I was in the original Revival Company of Chicago on Broadway. We opened in 1996. So during previews, uh, we had an emergency. BB twisted her ankle because the show was canceled that night. And I went to the producers. Well, first I went to the corner and I prayed. I said, okay, Lord, if I open my mouth, you got to help me because I can't just go in there talking mess. So I went to the producer, said, you all make me sick. And they looked at me like, what? And I said, look, I know my audition was wonderful. I know I did a wonderful job. Um, I assumed you had your butts covered but I can give you till midnight tonight and I can give you all day tomorrow. We can have a Wednesday matinee. Now this was a Monday night during previews and I remember exactly when it was. And I promised my two children who were very young at the time that mommy would have Tuesday off and she'll spend the whole day with you. We'll get to do what we want to do. Well, when I opened my mouth, I realized, okay, I was giving up that Tuesday. And I came home to my husband. I said, look, everything I've worked hard for the past 18 years is going to sum up in the next 36 hours. I need you to do something with the kids, make an excuse for me, but I got to go in here and work. And I stayed up all night learning the script, working on it. Uh, and I came back and I stretched, I vocalized. I hit notes I still can't hit. I, and I felt like God was really saying, look, I'm going to let you have this. Trust me. And we rehearsed from nine o'clock in the morning till nine o'clock at night, straight through, because I knew this was the only opportunity. And if I didn't take this opportunity, I would spend the rest of my career wondering what would have happened. And I just thought, God, I'm going to trust you. The next day I came in, the hairdresser had bought a wig on 34th street. He had picked up a dress from Victoria's Secret. As long as my shoes fit, I'm good. 
And everybody came together as a company, stage manager on one side. I had my dresser on the other with scripts on both sides. So we had people turning pages for me. I was running off stage, right? Looking at the script, running back on doing those sides. And long story short, we put a show together. I called my mentor, Frank Hatchett. And I said, Frank, I don't know what it's going to look like, um, but I'm getting ready to star on Broadway. And he came to the theater and it was magical. And I didn't know how well I did until they came in and said, all right, well, you're on tonight. I was like, really? And they said, yeah, and probably tomorrow too. I think it's important that we really just get inside ourselves, plug in. Some people chant, I'm a believer. I pray. Do the work. You're not afraid of the work. You're aware of opportunities. They tell people you have to be twice as good. I've been in the room where there have been five wonderful African-American women, and they only went with one. And any of us could have done the job. But I found that my best friends in this business, I never even got an opportunity to work with because they would always put us against each other. But the wonderful thing is that we never did that within ourselves. We supported each other. We cheered each other on. We would go see each other in shows as women of color, that we learn to support each other, that we realize what's for us to have, we're going to have. And we just need to keep working at it, being our best at what we do and sharing that, feeling that it's an opportunity to share what we love. So even moving forward, I'm all about just sharing what I love to do. So that's it. That's one story. I got a whole bunch more. We'll see. What a great testimony of courage, boldness, and self-esteem and confidence. And to all of our young dancers out there, have no regrets, follow your heart, trust your instincts, know your value, know your worth, and don't be afraid. And if you are afraid, do it afraid. Let's have a sneak peek of Mamie performing the role of Velma. We paint the town And all that jazz I'm gonna rouge my knees And roll my stockings down And all that jazz Start the car I know I will be spot Where the gin is cold But the piano's hot It's just a noisy hall Where there's a nightly brawl And all of that jazz Is gonna blow the blues And all that jazz Hold on, hon We're gonna bunny hug I bought a mask for rent Down at United Drug Make you shake apart And want a brand new start To do that jazz If you want to see the full video of Mamie performing Vilma Go to Broadway Today Stay tuned for more untold stories from our Black industry dancers. <laughs>